We've seen a lot of stories in the news about the refugee crises around the world. Students at Butler Traditional High School participated in the Walk a Mile in My Shoes program where they got an up-close look at the refugee experience. Now we have some folks on their way to jail for stealing food. No seven? No seven, no seven, no seven. Uh, right now we're at Butler High School. Uh, we're in their small gym and today we're having a refugee camp simulation that's hosted by Global Human Project. Well, how are you? Your name? Amani. Age? 21. Name? They are going through a uh, simulation of what it's like to be a refugee trying to gain access to a, uh, to a new country. Uh, they were all assigned family groups. Uh, they uh, had information on their names, their backgrounds, information on where they're from. Because it shows how hard it is to get to the United States and it's really hard, to, like it shows how hard it is for refugees. It gives them an insight into uh, people's lives as they were like, you know, going through this process and then it just makes them feel like that. So like maybe um, one day they could do something to help out refugees coming here. What country are you coming from? Syria. Syria? Yes, sir. Uh, are, you, are you afraid to live in your country that you're from, Syria? Then uh, they have to cross a border where they could be stopped by border patrol and put in jail. Sorry, I can't get them out of jail. What? Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Uh, all obstacles that uh, actual refugees have to go through. Um, they have to register and uh, decipher a uh, message in a new language. And then they, uh, if they do all that, then they actually gain access to the actual camp. I learned that it's a long process to get to a um, new country and it can be hard and sometimes you can't make it. Uh, once in there they have to gather food for their family, water, go through a medical screening, uh, go through an interview uh, to gain access to a new country uh, and learn and learn uh, a new language too. I thought it would be fun and then also as a refugee myself like a while ago before I got here I thought it was like a really cool program to like show them how I felt when I was younger to like be in the uh, system like this. We're doing simulations to understand what it's like, like how hard it is for you to be a refugee and how you mistreat it. It helps me to see what my parents had to go through as a refugee. I like to um, see physically. Like I don't like to just sit in a classroom and just listen to the teacher because that's kind of boring. You lose interest. So like doing this, it's like makes it more fun and it's easier to learn.